let's remind ourselves what we want to do again with the will class. We want to take the real number that the user has given to us and print on the screen the circumference and the area of the wheel that we have constructed based on the number that uh, the user gave us. We use that number as the radius of our wheel. Excellent! So how are we going to compute the circumference, for example? Remember what is the cir circumference um, of a, a, a circle of the wheel? It will be 2 pi times the radius. One uh, first note. How are we going to write down pi? Should we, for example, use a number 3.14 as a good enough approximation? The answer is that in Java there is a class, the math class, which I will bring up right now, which, like uh, the scanner class, is already written for us. We don't have to um, try to define it from scratch. This class contains not only methods like the scanner class but also useful fields. For example, it already defines for us a constant which is named pi and has a good enough approximation to the real pi. So what we need to do in our program is not use 3.14 or anything else that we may come up with but say math.pi and notice that p and i are in capital because of the convention that we are using in Java that constants are written in uppercase. So whenever we say math.pi the compiler will know what we mean and it will be the pi constant. So the formula that we want to have is 2 for the circumference 2 times math.pi times the radius of the wheel. So one way we could do it, we could, say, we could say that this is the real number, let me give it the name C, that is the circumference, right? D is the variable that the user gave us. And as for the area, how do we compute the area? The area will be uh, pi times uh, the radius square or if radius times itself times I get again math.pi that awesome number and this will be the area and we could say double a becomes equal to that and this is this will give us and excuse me radius here does not have a meaning it should have d be the meaning Radius is defined up there, but if I write radius here, it will be a compile time error. We will see in a little bit of how uh, that is related. So we do have the formulas for the circumference and the area. However, we don't really want to write the code like that. Not because it is incorrect, not because it will give the incorrect result, but because this is not the object-oriented style that we want. Remember, in an object-oriented language, we have the object, the class of the object, contain the operations that we would like to do on the object. So the object-oriented way to compute, to make these computations would be the following. We would have a method called getCircumference, for example. And all that this method does is what we did down there. It will make this computation but here instead of D we're going to use the radius of the of the wheel object. And this method will actually return that computation. So remember that we said that when we define a method, when we are writing a method, not only do we need to provide the name of that method, we also need to specify what is the return type. And in previous examples, in the robot example, we saw the method speak whose type was void. It meant that it did something but it did not directly return something to the caller. Here the get circumference is actually returning 
the result of the computation. So it returns a value that is of type double. So the return type of the get circumference method is double. And when a method has a return type, inside the body should also have a return statement. Return is another reserved Java word. So here we say return this particular computation. In a similar way, we are going to have the get area method that will be returning this time, as you can expect, the other computation, whoops, the other computation that we just did the, for the area. So I will actually just remove it. We don't want it to be down there. And I will replace wherever I have D. D is a variable that is visible inside main, but is not visible. It is declared right at this point, but it is not visible inside a different method, the getArea method. What is visible is the variable radius that is declared inside the class. So radius times radius times math.py and again it needs to have a, a return um, the, the return keyword to return that particular value of the computation. So now what we would have to do in the main method we actually don't need to print the value d that we just stored. We did that to make sure that we have used the scanner correctly. We do want to print something different. What will that be? We want to print the result of get circumference. So I will write the method name inside the print line, uh, inside the parentheses for the print line, because the get circumference I can treat it as a double because it returns a double. I can treat it as a real number in the same way that I am I had put before print line D, which was something of type double, a real number. In the same way I can put inside the parentheses a method call because that method returns something that is of type double. The only difference is that I need to put it through the W object. I cannot just say get circumference, I want the circumference of this particular wheel object that I have just created. Similarly, we are going to have a call to the get area method. For again this particular object. We are going to save the file and bring up the terminal in order to again compile the wheel class. Make sure that it doesn't have any mistakes that might might happen here. If we were using variables uh, that were not visible, for example if I was using here the name D instead of radius, that would result into a compile time error. And since we have now compiled it, let's also run it and see what will happen. We will get the correct numbers back. Please provide a real. Let me give something simple so that we can actually make sure that the circumference and the area are correct. 